Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about crystal elixirs or crystal water and why I love them and how I make my jemmy solution. Well, <laughs> I have always resonated with the idea of crystal elixirs ever since I heard it, heard about it because just considering how far my journey with crystals has come and how I used them on the external and what powerful changes emerged as a result of my encounter with these crystal babies on the outside. My thing is how much more or what kind of impact would these crystals have on me when I take them on the inside and they have a chance to just flow through my bloodstream. Can you imagine water infused with crystal energy and all that water just going into each and every cell and just each and every organ and in the water just infusing your bloodstream with its vibrations. Do you know how powerful that is? And you know crystals, they, they, they shift your energy. They work on a subtle energetic level. But the changes that start on that energetic level can sometimes really cause a physical impact. And I do know that crystals have a way of making us feel so good and raising our frequency. And so when you drink, or when I drink crystal water, I mean, what do you expect? Happiness. <laughs> well, well, that's what it is. Anyway, well, that's just me. I go crazy about these kinds of things and when I enjoy something, I do it because I love it. And when I love something, I want to share it. So this is how I make my crystal water. I usually use, okay, first, let me say this. If you have heard about Masaru Emoto's water experiment and how he had talked about he had done some research and in that research he found out that the power of words and thoughts and intentions when they are spoken to uh, when you speak your thoughts or you project your intentions towards the water it kind of changes the crystalline structure of the water and that the, the water becomes either unhappy or happy or the crystalline structure of the water reflects that nasty energy you're putting through it or the good positive energy that you're putting on it. So I like to use the positive words because words have power and everything is energy and energy always produces a result, good or bad. So it's better to stick with the good. So anyway, so I usually write um, these words or whatever words that I want to on my, on the jar that I use to make my crystal water. So here you see I have drawn like the shape of a love heart because I want my water to be charged with intention of love. And it's green because green is the color of the heart chakra. It's the color of Archangel Raphael who is the healing angel. And I like that energy of healing to go into my water. And of course the purple or the magenta is the spiritual color. And I like that also to be infused in the love energy that goes into my water. And then obviously I love to use sacred symbols. So I use different kinds of sacred symbols that mean something to me. You know, I've made videos on some videos on sacred symbols and I use that energy also because I want it to go into my water. And then in, inside the, the love heart, I want the, the words that mean something for me. I want those words to be in my body as I drink that water. So I put wholeness, I put health, peace, joy, love, prosperity, vitality, abundance, whatever it is that I feel the need for. Okay. So this is what I use. And I use, I love to use this square because I think it's grounding. I mean, according to sacred geometry, the square kind of gives me some form of structure and it grounds me. Then I put it in this jar and um, you see, I tape this piece of paper with all the intentions that I have, just the way I've taped it inside this jar. I mean, it's at the bottom. I taped it at the bottom of the jar, but the words are facing the inside of the jar. So I tape the words to the bottom of the jar, the, the sticky note. And if you can see, the bottom of the jar has that. So the energy will be basically 
projected into the water and if the energy of the all the things that I want, abundance, prosperity, love, peace, health, joy, wisdom, will be projecting into the water that I drink through the vibration of the crystals. And it's so something interesting about this jar. This jar has eight sides. Um, and the reason I chose this octagon shape for this jar, and the reason I like this jar in particular, is because... <laughs> This, uh, according to the principles of feng shui, you know, each side represents uh, a direction in our life or an area of our lives, according to the eight directions that are in the bagua, the bagua of, of feng shui. So if you're interested in feng shui, maybe you understand that much better, but I chose this for a reason because I like to have symbology for almost everything that I own or use, if I can help it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so once this is taped in here, I use um, certain crystals and you know you can't use all kinds of crystals because some crystals are toxic so I use crystals in the quartz family and I also um, I don't use any crystal that does not end I do not use any crystal that ends in an eight because I heard and I kind of trust that information that crystals that end in an eight most of them are toxic so just to avoid any kind of com complication, I use the crystals in the quartz family and I have my amethyst crystal that goes into that jar. I have my carnelian. I have my uh, um, quartz crystal to amplify the energy. Of course, you want it amplified. And also I use my spiral symbol because my spiral symbol that I use for my own sacred geometry, I made a video on that. <laughs> It amplifies the energy, so I need it to expand. I use red jasper for my root chakra. They're usually the chakra colors that go into my, my crystal water. And I use my citrine, you know, I use my aventurine. And I use, of course, the beloved rose quartz. Love, love, love is the order of the day, okay? And I use my aquamarine um, crystal. I mean, this crystal, it has a story. My favorite. Ah, I use aquamarine in there. Yeah. And I also use a smoky quartz crystal just for the grounding effect. I need to get grounded always. Now I know that for sure. Okay, so then I put the, the crystals, these crystals, in my jar. Okay, let me not break them. So I put them in the jar. Oops. Alrighty. So when that's done, so we have my little crystals in here. And you know the full moon is a good time to make your crystal um, water because at that time the energies of the moon are potent the crystal loves the crystals love the moon energy you know it's just such a beautiful time and you know it's the, it's very powerful energetically so it's very good to make your crystal water when the moon is full like in a few days the moon is going to be full so maybe that's going to be a good time but usually the crystals are always by my window having a good time so i don't think they'll be complaining about the moon energy Okay, then I use distilled water. This is my preference. There's a lot said about water, but everyone must always, always follow their guidance. And after you've done your research and you decide that distilled water or spring water or pure water or alkaline water or oxygen water or any kind of water is good for you, then go for it. I have chosen distilled water because I like it. And why? Because I can, right? Okay, so I use distilled water for my crystal grids. I mean, from my crystal water. Okay. <laughs> so then I pour in the substance. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yes. So this is my how I make my crystal water. The energies from all the, the thoughts and the, and the intentions that I have are taped at the bottom of the water. So that energy is going to be fusing with the crystal, the energies of the crystals. And then I'll put it by the window. It's going to be a full moon in two days and the energies will be so potent. I use this um, yellow because yellow is just a happy color. And just, I'm just a happy person and I just love the, the vibrant energy. It just, it, this just speaks of vitality and fun and joy. So what better way to, to drink your crystal water from a jar that's oozing of joy and energy and, you know, just allowing the the crystal vibrations to heal you from the inside out i mean it's the most 
delicious thing. This is a healing therapy. It's just not drinking water for the sake of, sake of drinking water. If you understand crystal energies and you appreciate the love that these conscious beings, their living beings, are bringing to us in various ways, then I think you have something that many people don't. So, do you make crystal water? I'd like to hear how you do it. Do you enjoy it? Cheers to everybody. Enjoy. I'll see you next time. And I love you always. Bye.